No shit. What made, what do you think, why did everyone get so into wax at that time? What was it that made wax blow up? <laughs> what? You don't get it because wax makes like people's houses Hilarious. blow up. All right, uh, Masonic Smoker Podcast. Welcome back, everybody. Make sure you guys are following the Patreon and all that good stuff. Uh, today we got my homie David from Dab Life. David, Dab Life, Dab Life, David. I think the first person that ever said Dab Life, David was the Eagle Clash people, right? Yeah, That's the yeah. first time he ever got introduced yeah. as Dab yeah. Life David. Did FS OTD introduce you as Dab Life David? No. No? no. That's the first time it, it would like it all yeah. rolled off the tongue yeah. like that. Was it it was accidental? Did no. It, just, it was just on the they list gave for, you the that name. for the awards. They yeah. gave they like they coined that name yeah. for you, right? Yep. Yeah, he okay. earned and that. And then one. you were like, "Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. it was just Dab Life, the name Dab Life. Did you give yourself the name Dab Life? Did th how did the name Dab Life come up upon? So Dab Life came apart because like me and my me and all my boys we would just be dabbing. That's all we're doing is dabbing. So we wanted to create like a clothing company or some kind of brand with it. And I was just thinking dab this, dab that. I was just thinking what you know what sounded like catchy to me that caught my attention that I wanted to run with. Yeah. Then we came up with Dab Life, and um, I just made uh, a couple shirts, and that was it. And what year was this? This was uh, 2013. 2013, man. Yeah, That's early, like, early. Some of the early cannabis branding, mm -hmm. too, I'd imagine, too. What was the second runner-up to the name? Do you remember? Um, yeah, before that, well, like, two years before that, I was already making my own designs. It was, uh, I was going to call it Wax Nation. Wax Nation. Because yeah. it was Wax. <laughs> it wax. Because yeah. yeah. I was Wax Monster on Instagram oh. before I was Masonic Smoker. Yeah. I was BHO Monster, Wax Ooh. Monster. But those never kind of fit, and those are kind of uh nowadays. Like wax has a uh, yeah, like which yeah. you still you still say wax. Like what year is it, yeah, bro? Yeah, like I always tell my friends, uh, you still call it wax. This is twenty twenty two. Yeah, this is, uh, man. Live resin or this is live rock. Yeah, <laughs> straight up. But fuck yeah, man. Even it, then, they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, but yeah, man, it's it's dope to have you in here, and and as you've seen, we got like right to it. You know, we we you know, uh, we could talk about anything and everything but you know we're talking about the dab life origin story uh might as well start with that you know what's yeah what what is dab life uh who is dab life and why is dab life so dab life's pretty much this lifestyle uh that i've been living that we all been living for the past decade you know dabbing smoking waking up uh taking a dab of some rosin or some hash you know that's that's the, the lifestyle. You know, it's my it's lifestyle great. for sure. Hell yeah, yeah, man! You know to wake up, take a dab, just dabbing all day. That's dab life. Who is dab life? I'm dab life. <laughs> and it's and 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 what does dab life do? Dab life. So, uh, dab life is we started out. I started out as a clothing company. Yeah. Um, we started as a clothing company. Um, I still do clothing to this day, but yeah, we started as a clothing company and just branching off to. Hash, just making hash, hash makers. So and you guys uh, grow it, wash it, the whole the whole enchilada, everything, right? Everything, That's what's up. Everything. That's totally what's up. How long have you been cultivating? And did you go right into the hash? Did you go through the ladder of BHO to you know diamonds to CRC to hash? What was your route as far as uh, hash is concerned? So and a I time frame too. Or making it, making it, making it, so and, and making the cultivation it, process too. So making it, this goes back to like 2014. 2014. I was, I was, yeah, making shatter, just pretty much like shatter. How would you make your shatter? Pretty much open blast. Shatter. Open blast, and yeah. what? Yeah. Open blast. Where would you source your material, and what would you source? What was your criteria? What was your bar? What did you like to do, and what were you known for? Well, actually, back then, I, I was working for a company back then. Yeah. So that's where I got to learn. What like, company were you working that for? That was for uh, Stuck Up Extracts. All right. This is, um, yeah, 2014. And and he's he's a, he did a, a, a some time, and then he came out like a, a year ago recently, right? Yeah, he's been out for probably about like two years, two years and some change. And, and he has his, he has his, uh, does he still have his, ham, his burger thing Yeah, I think on? he has his, um, yeah, his burger. That's what's yeah. up. But, wait, but wait, he sells burgers and hash? He used to sell no, hash. Yeah, he oh. he to, did yeah. time, now he just sells came burgers. back out, and then he's doing other stuff that aren't in that right now, I think. But yeah, yeah, he's not in that. I should probably hit him up, but you were working for Stuck Up? Yeah, and, this uh, is, yeah. And 2013, you said? 
2014. 14. 2014. And you were grabbing, uh, uh, you were doing shatter for him. So I was, ma- yeah, making shatter for him, and then. Um, and what what was the 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 material he sourced or the material the company sourced? Like uh, was, I remember stuck up being some of the best hash or or you know shatter, which is a hash. It, it mm-hmm. always you know from what I've digested, hash is shatter falls under the hash umbrella but uh but i remember trying his shatter and it was like the best shit it was some of the yeah it yeah, was it was it was, it was, was yeah. stuck up there was uh there was west coast cures bomb mm-hmm. there was trapzilla had a cool little fucking nice uh taste um there was uh ces i think was the name of it yep, yep. there was banff had some fire ass shit i have a banff shirt yeah so like those guys were crushing it stuck up included so you were working with like i remember i was on food stamps growing you know whatever soil like a salvage whatever fucking pot i found on the side of the road throwing that in my backyard mingling trying to figure out like how like you know it was a hustling thing back in the day like you really had to be like about your paper to like s- make a name and survive and let alone sell that shit you know you couldn't be like me i'm a, a plant guy you know like it, i had to meet in the middle but i remember i worked so hard and i just remember that stuff being unobtainable and yeah. being so mm-hmm. expensive but let alone you're working in that field already you're like in the like a, amongst the wells really early yep. 10 years ago almost yep like next year will be 10 years, mm-hmm. you know, and that, how, how's that like, how's that, you know, you navigating from then till now, how does that feel or what's, what's the road like, man? Um, It's pretty crazy to be honest, to think from shattered days to making diamonds to for all these different trends that fall into the cannabis industry that, that they're always changing, you know, to always, you know, I, like I never thought that I would be making rosin right now. You know, like from starting from making shatter, like just like just going through all these different. Trends, During the you know? time that shatters all crazy, you know, nine years ago, do you remember any names that stuck out that were still doing, you know, traditional style hash where it was like full melt and you would go to these, you know, I'd imagine you went to a lot of sessions oh, yeah, and, yeah. and and you 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 seen a lot of people and seen what people were trying to sell. Mm-hmm. And did you see someone that kind of stuck to their guns and to this day they kind of had the formula always kind of figured out like someone that always had, you know, hash but everyone's cranking out shatters so no one's really necessarily paying attention to that person. Well, but yeah, especially back in those days, I would say um for sure Nicotee. Nicotee. Nicotee's no always, doubt. He's always been around since back then. He's always been an OG. Yeah. He's, I've always seen his hash around before I knew what full mount was or what hash was or to understand what it was and yeah. hash has always been around it's right? always been even, around it's always even been during around. the wax craze uh it was it was was it it was just cheap was it even cheaper than the wax? it was craze? cheaper i remember who told me i was talking to cuban grower yeah at, he's at, one at one smoking too, right? jacket mm-hmm. and he's like hey big dog you know uh i'm trying to imitate him he's <laughs> like he's like yo hey big dog you know fucking you know, back in the day, fucking, I used to have my fucking dry sift for forty dollars a gram, and all these fools had their shatter selling it for yada yada, and uh, big uh, Kaya had to pull him to the side and tell him, "Yo, like your shit costs more than that. Like you're kind of fucking up the program, you know? Like rate double up, you know? Like they should be paying eighty to a hundred for this handmade precious no, it was, shit." It was so, like one, so there was a point where they didn't really know what they had you know well yeah. at least cuban i mean he knew what he had but like he didn't know that he could charge double triple yeah you know yeah um yeah that, that was some that was some so really good stuff i'm, I'm gonna rewind it all the way back to you blasting with stuck up extracts mm-hmm. what were you guys blasting what what, uh, what, what did he mainly like? do ogs oh and would, indoor a lot of og like all, all indoor all OGs. Nug, run, all nug run shake like uh, the nice shit on nug runs all like nug he'll runs. he'll like choose a room or he had like a source how did it work honestly i really don't know that whole breakdown but og nug run is, is all nug run and then, that's dope as fuck and then like i was still like because i always smoked his stuff before that i was a connoisseur of my own like to smoke Hash and who were your favorite shatter companies back then? My favorite shatter companies, it was hard. 2013, 14. Gold Coast for sure. Gold Coast, the little, uh, the little containers. Dude, I smoked so much Gold Coast. 
What about did you ever get Herb Smith? That was like their their sister company, I think. No. But it was like the low quality one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, no. I used to get that. Um, one. What yeah, other I used one? To smoke a lot of Gold Coast, a lot of all stuck up. Mm-hmm. Um, what else is really fire back then? That I remember. Well, always the the West Coast kid, the bomb, the bomb, the hardcore, you know, that little yellow envelope with the fucking B and the bomb, yeah. Yeah. What was it like, mean, fifty, sixty a gram or some shit? Probably more, huh? Probably more. It was about yeah. like eighty. Yeah. 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 Did those guys ever end up going into rosin? Yeah, oh, okay, they'll be cool. at Legends and all that shit, probably <laughs> for sure. Legends. Hash was always more expensive back then. Yeah. Hash was always more expensive. No if shit. It was, if it was really fire. Yeah. It was kind of more expensive. No shit. No shit. What made, what do you think, why did everyone get so into wax at that time? What was it that made wax blow up? <laughs> what? You don't get it because wax makes like people's houses Hilarious. blow up. Hilarious. <laughs> I'm trying to think what made the. I think the I, I used to make hash wax too. And my, like, I used to grow tons of weed, uh, harvest it all, let it dry, bag it up, and then uh, me and Diana would go to fucking this one of these fucking places in downtown LA we'd buy a master case we'd go home I'd I'd have a my little pump and the chamber I never had the 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 across international fucking oven I always had that and I always had the pancake McGriddle shit and that's how I used to do my my shit so I would like do nug run outdoor so all my shit look dope shatter slabs you know but like it wasn't indoor. How explodable was this? Like, if you have a dude smoking a cigarette while you're like, you know, cranking yeah, them out. Yeah, it's very dangerous. Yeah, like if a if a if a fridge <laughs> spark goes on, and you know when the fridge like <laughs> ticks on, like, and the house just so happens if you're doing it in a house like an asshole, like, and it just accumulates so much gas, like that tick from the fridge might. Even sta- any static, static, um, static from your clothing, phone, um, just your phone, yeah, yes, your phone, a lot of bad things. Boom! Now you're shattered. How many homies hit? No, I'm just kidding. All right, I'm done. Uh, now you're you, shattered. You definitely hear those horror stories, right? Yeah, I I have homies that have blown up houses on, and it's come out on the news. <laughs> like like it's, you know, it's yeah, it's it, not, it, yeah. it's it's a real That's fucking thing. Wild. Yeah, they they had to do time and. It's plenty of plenty of horror stories when it comes to the shatter homies. We could probably find some. Do you have any horror stories when it comes to the shatter days? Shattered, no, I had no problems. Just always played it Just safe. Played it safe. Yeah. And then trans uh, after I transit transition to like doing closed loop and learning all that stuff yeah and i never learned a closed loop i just did the fucking <laughs> for so long and the the homies would be like hey come meet yada yada and i'd be like yeah hey, like that's too much work for me like i'm just growing weed and throwing it in the tube like yeah, honest so like fucking back man. then i would just buy my own like whatever like exotic flower i would see like anything like if it was some crazy like stri- striped banana was really popular yeah. back then it was going for like probably like three thousand thirty five hundred, you know, some good strawberry banana. Get that whole nug and blast that. And you would do that by yourself. I by myself. And that's I remember I was talking to you, and you said something around that, like you would go out your way to source pounds and then just blast it, and that's kind of the dab life shatter brand. Oh, it was a shatter brand. It was pretty much like my head stash, like yeah, kind of thing, you know. But it was. Like a side, it was kind of like a little. Side but you thing. had your clothing brand at the time. Clothing, yep. But you always just so happened to have some just heat. Firehead on. stash, firehead And stash. this came from like just working from stuck up and kind of just doing your own shit. Mm-hmm. Fuck it, man. Yep. That, you know, I'm not. That's dope as fuck, by the way. Because uh, some people, uh, I was talking to Ben yesterday. I remember Ben was talking about how he's 60 years old and how when he grew for 30 years and it didn't take, it took him years and years and years for working for someone for to, to finally click where he's like, I could do this myself. Yeah. And some people don't know, like you could do it yourself. Like you don't have to just like pick up game, soak up game. You don't have to pick up your plate and leave with it. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to burn bridges. It's not like that. It's, it's just, it's just growing up. It's part of the growing process. It's just growing up. Yeah. Straight no, up. It is. And so after sh- the shatter phase and the diamonds came around mm-hmm. the diamond phase and I just, I pretty much learned that on my own, just doing research and figuring things out and trial and error. Trial and error. How do you make diamonds? Tell people how you make diamonds. Pressure, pretty much pressure. Well, what do you do? So I remember, I know how to make shatter, right? Shatter, you grab a, a tube, 
you stuff it with material. You don't want to do it too compact because then, you know, I just don't. I, that's how I used to do it. I didn't pack it too much. Just kind of just, you know, knock them in there. You blast the shit. It falls into a pan. It evaporates with either hot water under or whatever fucking hot pan you got under. And, uh, you know, once it evaporates, you scrape it out. You throw it into a fucking uh, 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 a parchment paper. You put that par- or parchment paper. You could even just do it straight onto the parchment paper. I've seen some people do. But I think, like, it's... No, I don't. I, I scrape it, throw it onto the parchment paper, throw it in the pan, turn on the fucking vacuum. Uh, where along this process does the diamonds so kick in? So I was going to tell you that. So, you know how you say how you pour it to a pan or pour it to a parchment? Yeah. Instead of pouring it to that, you just pour it straight to a jar. All right. Just to make sure. But you have to make sure enough butane is out of it. Yeah. The, it pretty much it could explode. Okay. It's like, it's and like how much little, how much butane do you usually tell when it's enough? Like... Like from oh. what I remember, like it's been years. I would just wait to like a certain like, like point. Like I would even maybe after I poured it in a jar, maybe put it back on some hot water, let some more evaporate out, just to make sure enough butane is out. Just I don't know. I don't want too much butane in there because I've seen it never happened to me, but I've had I've heard stories of uh, the whole like glass ball jar exploding. In That's it. terrible. Yeah. It terrible. And you lose everything. You lose right everything. Yeah. yeah, everything's all over. The the ovens you didn't scrape. Oh, scrape that's it terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Fucking a. Oh, I like glass so you you, you throw it in the jar and then you just forget about it. Uh, close it up real tight, put it in the um, oven, and in a vacuum oven. Vacuum oven. So yeah, it's still yeah, sucking yeah. pressure out of the area around it. No, uh, I don't suck. You know, you don't suck pressure. You just no um no no pump. So just just heat. Just heat. Low heat. Okay. Low heat. Yeah. And how do the cr- and the core crystals just, just form? Yeah, they form. Um, oh. Some people like I would do would like make sure that like the room is dark, the crystals form bigger, and lower temperatures they get bigger. I might just start making diamonds again just for shits and giggles, yeah, I bro. Remember you could even like I, like when I first started doing it, I was doing them at regular temp. Like, so no vacuum. No vacuum yet. Ah. Until after after the diamonds are formed. Okay. So they have to sit there for at least like some people now. I heard people let it sit for like. 30 days. Okay. Uh, but back then, I was probably let it sit for about two weeks. Damn, two diamonds weeks, forming two, after two weeks? Two, three weeks, yeah. And you felt like fucking Heisenberg two, when weeks, that yeah. shit happened, Diamonds huh? are a stoner's best friend, baby. Because mm-hmm. you want to make sure that pretty much all the diamonds are formed. Because if you do it too early, you're going to have um, diamonds growing, like, just, it's not proper. If you don't, if you don't let them go, like, the full term, it's, yeah, it just gets, like, weird and... Like if, if you try to make carts with the with the with the juice, they start making cri- like crystals in the carts because it's not crashed all the way. No shit, yeah. man. Mm. I never. This is my first time even asking about it because it used to be secretive. Like mm. dudes, even Shatter Tech, nobody, anything. Yeah, nobody. No, would they ask. weren't no, telling no, you how to no, make money like no, that. No, like nobody. Might no. as well here. Have my everything here. Here's my phone. Let me give you the take Coca-Cola my contacts. Recipe. Drink the rest of my water. Like that's literally what tech was that's, that's how it is but this whole industry yeah the, every any any form of extract growing that's how everyone that's just how it is so i know? was talking to brett yesterday when 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 uh wonder brett and he was talking about how back in the day they held on to the cut so long and they like didn't get it out so long and this goes with tech too mm-hmm. that we've come to the point where like the only way to kind of still kind of survive nowadays is to kind of like be more open and because you know that shit don't fly anymore. Yeah, because you get and also you get help, you get tips, maybe something that you might have missed yeah. or forget. Yeah, it's good. It's good to help, and it's good to help people. Help maybe. You so, might. so you uh, 2013 shatter 14, 15 diamonds, or a little bit later. Uh, I'm trying to pinpoint the years. I'm pretty sure if I look at my phone right now. Yeah, like, oh, you'll see all through the, the diamonds, pictures. All yeah, the diamonds. Yeah, I would say yeah around that time. Is whenever it was remember it was Diamond high. Baron? Of course. That dude was he like the 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 head honcho with diamonds or was like yeah everyone wanted his diamonds yeah we even did we did a clothing collab too as well. I remember going to, I think it was uh, Blazers Cup or Chalice, one of these cups, and I'm at the Oni booth, and they're like, oh like what are you here stoked to see? I'm like you guys like what the fuck you yeah. know? They're like well we're gonna go check out the Diamond Baron. Everybody was going to Diamond, and I'm just like. I'm poor. Like, like <laughs> what poor made everywhere. Diamond Baron so? So he was because he, he had the clearest diamonds. Clearest he had the clarity. He had the clarity in his diamonds. The clarity. A lot of people. Um, Why did he have the clarity? 
Oh, uh, just the tech, you know, the tech he was on. And did he have, you think it's fire in, fire out, or he just had a cleaner process? What do you think it was? Um, like, I would say both. He, yeah? He, yeah, he had his, he had his, he had, his, he had it down. He had I, met, down I met, I uh, met, I met the Rosin Baron mm-hmm. uh, dude. We'll call him Gary. Okay. Uh, that's what he was called that day. Okay. Nice motherfucker. Cool ass fucking homie. He's Rosin Baron now, right? Okay. I'm, I'm not too sure. Yeah, yeah, he's Rosin Baron now. He's in the Rosin scene. Is he the Red Baron's son? <laughs> Do you ever get Red Baron pizza? The pizza. Yeah. That's why I'm all like, what is this? But there's there's a Baron thing. There's, We'll just stop there. There's a Baron in the scene, but I, I'm not in it. I don't have a fight. I don't have a dog in anyone's fight. I'm, I'm only my own person, so it's just funny that Barons are being brought up. But either way. And the whole Diamond scene, I think it like lasted to like, 2018, I would think. Remember. 2018? Yeah, because I was for me, for for me personally, I was smoking hella CRC Mm -hmm. diamonds, all that shit, till maybe one year before we left uh, the house that we left, Diana. I was about to name the street and everything. (laughs) Yeah, but I would get diamonds from my buddy Mellow Labs. You heard of that dude? Mm, Sounds familiar. Mellow Labs. uh, My buddy David. He would give me like. I would go to his pad and he'd be like, oh, I just, you know, I blasted all this for Trill and I blasted, I, I hooked him up with Trill. Okay. I introduced him to Trill, but he was already blasting for fucking Wonder Brett and all these other dope ass motherfuckers. So I was like, this is perfect. You know, you guys kiss. Yeah. And uh, he would give me like four jars. Here, have this one, this one, and this one. And he gave me so many dope flavors. Like I got to try Piff via Ooh. Diamonds. Oh, shit. Yeah. he had Diamond Piff? Diamond, Diamond Piff. Yeah. And 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 that's when I got introduced to Piff. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, this ain't no nothing that I'm used to. And he's yeah. like, oh, that's Piff. Cross back to Piff. Cross back to Piff. And I'm just like, all right, well, fucking. It was called like Lighthouse or something. Oh, but we smoked that one, and he would give me tons of diamonds, and that was totally around 2018. Yeah. Yeah. And and you started making hash around 18, 19. Yeah. Well, I was already, but be, like, let's say 2000. 17 i was squishing melt like i was getting melt from like all the homies like third gen like i would get melt from everybody and just squish it and no shit yeah, and just squish melt i would just squish melt so i was ready like like da- like i was already dabbling in hash yeah but not like i like just just not, like for head stash and i i just love hash so i was just that's all i smoked so i, I slowly transitioned to being focused on diamonds and bho to having this just wanting to smoke hash and make rosin so i just that's why i just broke off do you think the process to make hash is easier than the process to make diamonds and such diamonds making no bho is way easier really way easier it's just more it's just dangerous oh it's just, it's just more dangerous i think it's way easier it's way a, easier a hash making is more hands-on and it's meticulous more hands-on and, and meticulous. meticulous very meticulous it's like it's like it's like la- washing by hand and washing with the machine. Mm, okay. Kind of. Because you can still use a machine to make hash. Yeah, yeah but still, even if you're yeah. doing it like the other way by hand, yeah. it's still way easier yeah. because hash, I mean, BHO is like one process. Yeah. You just go boom, boom, boom. boom in the oven, you're done. Hash, you, there's a lot of steps to it. <laughs> cleaning shit. It, cleaning stuff, yeah. Making sure, like, there's a lot of different steps. Mm. No a lot doubt. Of, lot of different, yeah, a lot of, yeah. Stick Curing it, it, fresh press. So Everything. on, so mm-hmm. forth. Dry Gnarly. Throwing the like freeze dry. Rosin. Mm-hmm. Fucking full melt. Different washes, you know, first, second, yeah. third. Or if you do more. Lot. You would think it's easier to me. Like it's easier because you don't need all the heavy machinery. But if you start adding up what it costs to get like a, a nice, you got to spend like five, ten, five. Like you, if you want the freeze dryer. You could do dry air dry. It's probably better too, but you're not gonna have all the surface area and space to do it. It's and it's it's cheaper to make a room to make hash. Yeah. Than to make BHO. Yep. Because the equipment's more expensive. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. And then it's also harder too, because like it's dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous, and it's like no one wants to learn how to build a fucking contraption like that like yeah 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 like what the fuck like yeah, closed gotta, loop system yeah, and how to, to on how to, to operate a closed loop system like you're a fucking scientist now yeah yeah now you're learning as opposed chemistry. to but but it's harder because it's 
more meticulous. Once yeah. you got the the turnkey system, you can get anybody to operate that. Look at fucking all these factories out here. You know what I mean? So it's like. It's, you can't really they can get. Run, they can run hundreds of pounds at a time. Yeah. Too. There's different it, machines. There's, 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 you know, it ain't as good. That's for sure, though. That to makes me. Sense. To me. Yeah. Fuck yeah. But the only thing I do like miss about it is that you could make, you could like make BHO out of any plant and get a taste from it. Yeah. Versus hash, you can't really do that. Not every, not everything produces. That, that's what I've not noticed. Washes. I, I miss some flavors. Just period. Mm -hmm. There's some flavors that aren't captured. Like hardcore OG from 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 all that, and sometimes I'm like, man, but something in me just won't let me do it. Yeah, because then OGs don't wash really. So why don't OGs wash? The they volatize and and they just don't smell like they do in flower form mm. when you wash them. From what I've heard and discussed with other hash dudes, mm. and then there is speculation and people that are coming out the woodworks that are. There's not enough people doing it, too. You got to remember, no, people weren't growing OG. They just started growing OG again, let alone they weren't washing it either. Yeah, but now now it. people are trying to wash it, let alone grow it again. So more people are rolling the dice on it, finding out that it isn't necessarily the best for it either. And there's some strains that are just like that. They just, the way they wash, some wash better than some, others. Some are better for fucking shatter just you know or, or, or diamonds just yeah. like we were talking oh, yeah. about yeah, the, the heads on them are too silky to you know go through the hash making process the water hash making process you know that the, the, the cells on the fucking resin heads or they just turn to mush as soon as they mm -hmm. they get touched yeah. they, they don't really have a nice gland so they don't keep up during the the hash agitation process and they grease up too. What do you mean they grease up? So like when they're sieving through the bags, the heads they just they 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 don't have a, a nice callus. Well, they have a callus wall, or they're just not, you know, uh, hard enough to. They just they just don't have a, a nice thick wall. They just turn. They're just lotiony, mm. velvety, and those terps aren't. Those plants that give off that head, that gland aren't good for making water hash those are better in hydrocarbon hmm. and i say this because this is how <laughs> a, a this is a this is a, a, a motion, this yeah. is a, a butane yeah. can and this is a tube <laughs> 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 you know what i'm doing when i do that I know, like, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. Is this, if you did this is this like a universe sign for every like every guy who's ever done that would know what they know is? exactly what i'm talking Hilarious. about bro and that's how you know you're a fucking real one when you're over here like <laughs> you were right there like that. You walked to the garden. He's like, "Hey, this one, like this one, <laughs> this other one. How is it? Wait, if hey, we're who's gonna, who's doing that today? If uh, we're doing a T-shirt, it's it's like this. <laughs> it's 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 like you got to hold the tube, right? So you're holding the tube with this hand, and then you're kind of like pushing it in with the <laughs> thumb and holding it down like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. But fuck yeah, David. Uh, we're talking. We're just riffing, man. We've been here for thirty minutes. Um. What what do we have here? What'd you bring today? Yeah, by the way, that first dab. By the way, I don't know. If, uh, usually, I'm not this quiet, but I am literally <laughs> He's like, so high today. I'm like right here. I'm like I can feel it behind my eyes. Like I'm fucking. <laughs> He's always he always has something to right say, now, but he dude. is high as a motherfucker. I'm this whole thing. So I'm not that high, high thing, right guy. now. <laughs> yeah, that's the the sour diesel Wilson. He smoked the Cushman's though. I gave him a bag. Oh, he smoked both. He though. smoked the sour first out the Puffco, and then I'm like, hey, you want a real boy dab? Oh, that's what shit. we call oh, dabs. Gave, oh, yeah, that's right. You gave him a terp. Slurper. That's what we call terp slurper dabs. Oh, a shit. real boy dab, and I gave him a real boy dab, and I gave him that chunker off that. You you know how much oh, that yeah, was? Yeah, yeah. And he took it like at six twenty. Cause we. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, he went okay. in. I I made him going a little. I think maybe even five eighty ninety. Now it was 620 and he was dead and I tasted it too to make sure it wasn't like you know charred up now nah, it was good it was good he 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 smoked some good hash and he was dying after and look at him now I'm fucking so, so high I'm Cushman so Wilson you grew this oh so uh, yeah th that's from our garden yeah. you you uh processed everything all dab life fucking that's what's up man fucking Yeah, it's tasty too talk, man talk to us tell us about um, everything here even so this dope ass piece and where has that piece been i've seen it in jamaica right piece, piece has been to jamaica piece has been yeah, to jamaica couple. piece yeah let me see i can't remember but it's been a few countries yeah <laughs> do you speak uh Patawi? no oh, okay i lie 
I lie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. but, um, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what th- what'd you learn in Jamaica? Any lingo? No, no lingo. Come on, you have How to come back Jamaica with for? some I lingo. In Jamaica probably for like maybe a week. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, it was it was really dope. Honestly, for anyone who smokes, any I've been to a lot of countries. I, we travel a lot, and that's probably like the most weed friendly country I've ever been to. It's fly, did you fly in with stuff? We f- we flew in. I lie. Why people like always wear a land? I always have people that take care of me. When oh I'm fuck yeah! So it's pretty. It's pretty cool. See that's see I get that too. I've been very like especially doing stand up and traveling. I've been very lucky and like <coughs> landing in a few places and meeting people who are like I got something like ah oh, thank God you know yeah, and it's cool like uh, so yeah when we were there, I met a local through Instagram. He does like a like a tour. He takes he drives you around. You could you could you could dab in his car. You could smoke weed. You could drink beer. You could pretty much like yeah. Just he'll drive you all through wherever you want. And um, yeah, we just went with him and uh, we were just dabbing everywhere. He took us to all these different um, like. Scenics. And and when you say you were dabbing everywhere, you were dabbing your hash. I was dabbing my hash. Well, did they have hash over there? What's their hash scene looking like? What's their weed okay, scene I, looking I didn't like? I get to see their hash scene because um, when we were driving. Uh, we were dri- we were driving somewhere, and he was like, "Damn, bro!" He's like, "I only have one friend on the island right here that dabs, and he's not here today." He's like, "Cause he wanted to show me like where how he dabs. Yeah, his friend dabs, but he doesn't really dab." Um, that that guy, my tour guy, was more into smoking like just weed. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, so he took me to his farm. Yeah, he had a farm at his house. Oh, oh nice. Shit. Yeah, so he drove us to his house, and um, this is just Jamaican him. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he he took me to he took us to his house, and he had like. Is, he had a lot of plants. He had all pigs like, instead of chickens. <laughs> That's <laughs> dope. <laughs> he, had, he had a lot of plants, bro. I, he had a lot of plants. That's he had all these different strains. What kind? What kind of strains did he, he have? Gelato. Were, were the strains in flower when you went? Were they in veg? No, they're in veg. They're in veg. They're in veg. That's why he was. When'd you go? What month was it? Like in I June or something? June. 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 Yeah, yeah I'll be June. watching yep. your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you know, I just kind of, you know, it's just all there. I'm a yeah. fucking computer. Uh, <laughs> fucking, that's dope. So, and prior to. Uh, Jamaica, you were like in Amsterdam, and then you were in fucking Europe. Like, well, er, Amsterdam is in Europe, but like you were in Spain. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, like I think that whole year I was just like going. Like, yeah, just, man, you're the extravagant traveler. You ever been to Puerto Rico? No. Africa? I, no, never. Been you ever heard the song "Extravagant Traveler"? No. Do you ever hear the song Africa? "Extravagant Traveler"? Puerto Rico out to Africa. That's oh, this shit. guy right here. God bless the rains in Africa. <laughs> Sorry, I'm high shit. So this Sar Diesel Wilson. You 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 entered this in Ego Clash in Barcelona, right? Yeah. So look at so check this out. When I entered that, I had no clue how fire it was. Yeah. So you had gave us the cut. Yeah. We you know we vegged out. Yeah. Took the like it took us probably like almost a year to get it to to where it to, needed to, to be. Where it be. So we got it there, and I we harvested, we processed everything, I squished everything right before we left. Yeah. So I did not. I I dabbed it as fr- I smoked it as fresh press. Yeah. But sometimes that's not the true essence of well, the. I, really? Honestly, I used to I used to only be like all oh, fresh press only. But honestly, yeah. it's for me some strains are better in fresh press. Yep. Than cold cure. Yep. That that's my thing is you can get fresh press right and smoke it as fresh press, and and that's fine. But eventually it turns into cold cure. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. So like, if you get, like me, I'm not gonna have a gram of fresh press last me that long. Yeah. So I'm not gonna get the experience of watching the uh, uh, the thing nucleize, and then you get to whip it together and yeah, yeah. capture the true essence of the whole experience of the fresh press turn cold cure. Mm-hmm. Cause that's a that's an option. I see people do it unknowingly, like they're selling fresh press, but no, they're actually selling you the option of having it every way. But yeah, uh, so you get it fresh press. You don't know it's the shit yet. I don't know it's the shit yet. So me and my nephew were like, damn, which ones? Which which one do which one we're gonna enter? Mm-hmm. Like we got the Cushman's Wilson, <clears throat> we got the Sour Diesel Wilson, which because I don't like to enter like just like for me like I think papaya and stuff like that. Is just everyone too, has papaya. Everyone has it. So everyone like, has GMO. Even when I go to these competitions and and I try, I'm like, oh, like might as well enter GMO or something. Yeah, they're like, over here uh, playing with the fundamentals. You know, like enter something unique and different. That's straight not the fuck up. So, um, you know, I had a, a few jars, like a little head stash jars. I don't, I forgot how much we answered like. Probably like six grams, yeah, seven grams, whatever. So we, I took it with me, and um, we get to Amsterdam. 
I get to Lorenzo's, Terps Army's. I get to I get I get over to Terps Army's house and then we pop it open, and we smell it and we're like, what the fuck? It smelled crazy. Whipped it up and I was and that's when we're like, damn, like. I think this is the I one. I think we got a winner, I mean, guys. I wasn't sure. Yeah. I wasn't sure. Yeah. I was like, but I think this is what I'm going to enter right here. Yeah. Like, this is this is the one. Fuck it yeah. Just, it just came to me. And it smelled so fire and that, that taste, those the, that sour candy taste. I was like, yeah. It's so. pretty unique. Uh, uh, I knew it was special when I gave it to you because uh, I seen the big resurgence of sour coming around and... Uh, I, I kept it for that reason. That was my keeper that I had flowered out and hit once or twice. And it's cool to, I was fucking at home chilling and I don't, ne I never, I don't take credit for anything on this, but I do, I'm all like that. I chose that one, you, you know? Did, so, yeah. so like my eyes, There's like, a backstory you know, like my, my, you know, my eyes are in the right places, you know? And it's cool that I encapsulated that because I've grown a lot of people's sours. And I've mm -hmm. smoked sour. Like, I grew up smoking sour diesel. That's my shit. My dad, when I graduated high school, he didn't know how to say congratulations besides giving me a pound of weed. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, my dad gave me a pound of sour diesel. <laughs> so, uh, Diana knows. I've been with her that long. And, uh, I, you know, I have a really romantic relationship with sour. So, when I started growing again... Like, there wasn't necessarily a Sour Diesel cut out there. So when the Sour D BX2s came out, I couldn't wait to pop them. I got them from Karma. Uh, Speakeasy Seeds at the time worked with Oni and facilitated uh, Oni. Somebody made it happen, but somehow, some way, we ended up being the people going to go sit down and have dinner with Karma to get the seeds back to America. So that's how I got my hands, my little grubby hands on this sour seed stock first brought it back to the states popped a few and uh you know crossed it to my wilson f1 at the time found a nice one kept that one for till this day i still have it and uh that's since like 2018 or 19 or something like that that's pre-covid shit and uh i gave you that selection when you came to the house one day with with the whole disclaimer like yo man this is an outdoor and mm -hmm, yeah. you know i wouldn't take it if i were you but i totally take it because it's fire you yeah, know yeah. and that's that's the case for me like that's and and you and you gambled on it mm -hmm. and and shit you third place in the whole fucking place across the whole fucking world that's better than no fucking place yeah, that, you know what it's i mean funny so one of my boys um my boy from um um la sagrada we were we were all like dabbing next to each other we're all like and he pulls out the jar and he look, he opens it and he shows me. Yeah, I knew it was my jar and he was like, "Hey, you seen this one?" I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah." Like I was like, I had to, I had to try to play it yeah. off. Yeah, I didn't want to be like, "Hey, that's my jar." Like I wanted to tell him. Yeah, then boy. you get docked because he deep down and you know he's your boy, but mm -hmm. someone at the table is like, "Fuck you, bam, bam, bam." You know I'm winning today. You know yeah, what I mean? So I was yeah, it, it was it, yeah, it was funny. So yeah, there was a lot of fire in that table. There was a lot of fire in that table. I forget that uh, you got to do that at shows because like I'll pick up a table, a jar, and I'll show it to the dude that made it, and I'll be like, "Just you, this is yours," huh? and I'll be they'll be like, Ugh, and I'll be like, "Oh yeah, we're at a because nobody because uh, I didn't show <laughs> nobody that jar." I didn't show nobody yeah. that jar, just to be fair. Yeah. Like, because everyone's, at, like, some people are asking, oh, what are you entering? That's a competitive. I, I, don't, I just keep it. That's how you know you are you came to win. You know, when you came and you're like, you're just the deadly assassin in the back, quiet. Just You just came to collect your prize and go. Because mm -hmm. you know who does that at every fucking show? Is that motherfucker, damn it, Bobby, you know that guy? Oh, yeah. He this he motherfucker just. First place again? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't know. Every show, oh, again, first place again. Every fucking show, damn it, Bobby gets. And a lot of people <laughs> tripped out because it wasn't, it wasn't the, um, the seventy through one twenty. Yeah, it was the one eighty. No shit. So everyone was tripping out like that. So was explain, explain to us why one eighty is good or it's bad compared to. What'd you say? The seventy or the one twenty? Yeah. What? What's? I'm, I'm oblivious. I don't. Uh, know. One, Do you know? The one, the while well, the one eighty is more like, is more plant. More, more plant material. Pl more plant material. So, there's bigger heads. Um, more for me, I like to also dab that all day because it's stone. It's more stonier. Yeah, it gets you like. I, you, I couldn't tell. And the all that affects is really just how it burns in the, either, uh, in the banger. In the banger. Uh, it burns the same. They all every much. you b burns the same. I know. I wouldn't say all of them burn the same, but if it's good, like I've, I've had. If it's good, good hash is not gonna have nasty brown blowback. Yeah, mm -hmm, pretty much. It's gonna have some nice yellow. Yeah. 
amber in there. Fire and fire out. But it's just more of the effects and the taste. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's more like it has more plant. Has more so the so 120. Well, yeah. Is 180 better or worse than 120? It's just preference. The higher the number, the worse. Like any hash maker. Like, like I have friends like that they just want to smoke 180. Like I have one friend that just is like, hey, give me all, all your 180 all the time. He'll take it all. Just because like he wants like that strong, like I I had to stop because it, I was just smoking nothing but 180 U, and it just gave me like I'll just be like like I would just smoke I would just be like I want hash. some 180 U yeah, yeah dude I, just, I think I, I want just, some 180 I was I was running through the hash, and it depends on not all 180 not all 180 U is created equally though. <laughs> oh, oh shit. shit! So like, some people like trip out. And be like, you got good one eighty u because sometimes yeah, I've seen like brown one eighty u because it's not. I don't know. Just different and what is it? Is it is it is it genetic? Uh, is it I the think genetic? It, it's, it's either I'm not. I wouldn't say genetics. It's I think it would be like takedown time. Okay, so uh, process. Yeah, it's, the, it's it's your it's your tech. Growing the heads are growing. Yeah. So you're gonna. So I feel like when you let it go full term, full term. Yeah. You're gonna get more bigger heads. That's what I've seen from watching people people's different gardens. I always ask questions like when they took it down, like is it full term? Did they cut it early just to see like 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 just to see. But when you cut it down like the perfect time you'll get like a nice even amount of heads. No doubt. Hmm. No doubt. What what is this here? What's this piece we're looking at right here? This is uh bluegrass. Just bluegrass? Bluegrass, uh Don Rob. Don Rob. How much is this piece? Um I would say around like three thousand. Damn, we got a little Honda Civic on the table. (laughs) (laughs) That's That's what I'm talking about, baby. And and we're we're, I have my I have my elite mothership in your downstairs. (laughs) (laughs) We're 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 assuming no one knows anything about anything here. Mm -hmm. So what is this here? Oh, this is a Terp Slipper. What is how much are Terp Slippers nowadays? Well, they go they retail. For about like 400, 420, I believe. I believe so. And it's also like depends on who's making it and who's blowing it, right? No, not about that. It's just. Uh, so this is JP Toro. JP Toro, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. some turf slippers. He's the original. He's original, so, yeah. Some turf slippers are more expensive, right? Because uh, of it, functionality and. Uh, he brand. makes crazier ones that yeah. are worked and. They're, they're Doesn't he have one like for fake C cells on his website that costs like a million dollars or something like that? Nah, I don't know. He used to have like yeah. a troll one on his page where it's like this. It just was an outrageous That's funny. price. Uh, the Cushman's Wilson. This is my second time smelling it. Yeah, it's the second time. This time is 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 this a better batch or did I get a smaller um, batch a whiff last time? I think last time I, I didn't know you never. I think you just gave you a dab of it. Yeah, no. This time, this yeah. time I'm like, damn. Yeah. You know what? I don't like Oreos, but like this is if Oreos was good. Yeah. That's the best way to describe this. Just like a little bit more sharpness on like, no, no, turn up the color on Oreos. Mm-hmm. Like this is what this is right here. Yeah. Because I'm keeping it 100 because I hate, 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 hate Oreos. Yeah, I don't like Oreos either. But this That's is like, we just watched this is more cream, cream, a little bit of funk, and, and that tone though. That tone. You know what I'm talking I know, about. I know, yeah. exactly what, I know exactly yeah. what it smells like because yeah. one of my boys just gave me some Oreos to wash a couple of days ago. We washed it, but it's not Oreos. I know for sure. It's yeah. Because after I pressed it, it smelled like. It smelled pretty crazy. Yeah. But it wasn't Oreos. You, t- you show me, man. Oreos like bland. It's like bland. Hey, blando commando. Blando. That smells so what good. Else, what else? Uh, what, what's new in, in, in with Dab Life? What are you getting into? What's events, fucking uh, projects? What, what's what's new? Uh, projects. Let me see. Well, just for right now, for like the on the clothing side, like we're doing all the gear for like Cali, you know Cali, Cali X, Cali Exotics. Yeah, fuck Cali yeah, Cali, yeah, fuck yeah. So um, I'm pretty much doing all their gear for them now. Nice. I'm helping them out to do all that. So Hell yeah, that's what's that's up. Cool. What about uh, cultivation hash? Any any collabs or any new uh, genetics that you're uh, growing right now that you plan on washing? Um yeah, actually we popped what else? We popped a bunch of bloom seeds stuff. Damn, what'd you pop from bloom? Uh, we had. Also, the feminized line, we popped some, um, what was it, um, uh, Dulce de... F- Dulce de Uva? Times, um... Sherbanger. No, Strawberry Guava. Straw Guava. So, Straw Guava line. Yeah. Straw Guava and Cushmints. Yeah. Strawberry Cooler. Yeah. And what was another one? There's one more. Can't think of it right now. Or, like, two more. That's fire. Yeah, we popped a bunch of phenols of those. I did a bunch of fucking bloom shit. You know, uh, I he actually gave me my first petter seeds ever. Like, the Tropicana Cherry Pytangi. That's that's all some of his original work. 
but yeah man that's fucking dope i can't wait to see what comes out of all that you know yeah, I mean, yeah I, I, sign yeah, me up for one of it. each you know Honestly, where are you f- from originally i'm from um the city of san gabriel right here like sgv oh okay you're from there too i'm from there too Did yeah. you like born and raised born SGV? And raised, SGV. damn yeah. you kept it there that's dope man uh-huh. Yeah, I'm still I'll, I'll always. Uh, I'm always in the area. I'm always. I can't leave. When did, <laughs> you, <laughs> when did you start smoking weed? When I started smoking weed, shoot, I took my first bong grip when I was like eight years old. Damn! Oh, shit. Yeah. After a long day of well, I, what? I grew up third in, grade. Yeah. 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 <laughs> fourth, was, I think it was fourth grade. That's After a long day of yeah. fourth San grade, Gabriel fucking Valley teacher shit, gave us too much homework. Uh, Where's my not, bong? Uh, uh, hey, Catcher in the Rye <laughs> is too much for me at eight. And I, because I, I grew up, my, my older brother, my older sister, there. My brother was always pushing when I was little, so I always seen like just a bunch of weed everywhere. So I was like, oh, I want to smoke that shit, you know. Like, and 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 you say pushing, like they're pushing weight. Yeah. Oh yeah. My brother's always. He like, was always. Yeah. Like he was always heavy like, hitters. Yeah. Not like all crazy, but. He but was but back in the day, thing, if you know? were doing shit back in the day, you were you were heavy. Period. Now everyone on Instagram is a drug dealer. It's like, who cares, yeah. bro? You have face tattoos. Yeah. Who clutch cares? pulling up, dog. Everyone has face tats. And and fucking sells drugs nowadays. Yeah. Back then it was respectable, it was motherfuckers. Like, I grew up with like a lot of older people, so it's like you would go to you go place and you see everyone smoking. Like and you're a little, I'm a little ass kid just knowing what's up. Like I just knew, I just like I knew what time it was. You grew up quick, up. man. I grew up quick I around up, them too. You know, you know? Mm-hmm. that's dope. I I my dad, he uh, he was from the car club life, right? So like when we were kids like five six years old he used to party and they would drink alizé and smoke weed and all the low riders would be just like all your favorite dr dre fucking chronic albums like that was they lived that life and uh i was around that as a kid as a six-year-old but somewhere along the way he left the car club life and just was like a blue collar tow truck dude and just like we just that just ceased to exist and and you know we just he just kept us away from that mm-hmm. you know and and he'd be like if i ever see you smoking i'm gonna fucking kill you but mm-hmm. he always like the glimpses of that lifestyle were still there we still lived in the hood he still listened to rap you know we still watch friday you know and and but he would still try to be like it's bad it's bad you know but hey dude it's it's all over the places you show us you know and uh time goes by time goes by and he gets a low rider again <laughs> and uh he gets the low rider. I'm in t- a teenager now. It's like all timing, you know. And the low rider kind of he 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 hangs out with uh, one of the dudes Ray in the car club. Who, you know, he's a he's a hitter and and he pushes weight. So he kind of gets to see like you can still like have a life. And he knew that already, but he just didn't want us to, to have nothing to do with it. So he tried to fight it as much as possible. But like I just love smoking pot. Yeah, and that sounds so like weak no but like and, <laughs> it's so true I, I, I can relate to that because like that i just grew up like just knowing about weed and seeing it i remember i seen a high times magazine i always thought like i want to go to a high times i was a little kid mm-hmm. like not even like 12 years old like yep. i want to go to a high times you know like that was like i remember being on dream. the shitter at you know in 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 ninth or tenth grade you know reading a high times because i used to have my own like room all the time i always had my own space uh not just room like my own back house like that was my shit you know one room with the bathroom so i didn't have to i had my own space and i would always have my high times and i would go through it and i'd see those outrageous buds that you could deliver to your front and i'd be like that's too good to be true and yeah i would just i, remember that. I, remember I was that. more of the picture guy like boom i'll hang the pictures my dad would just take them down I'd be like what the fuck dude I'm like, you can't have that you know you're a kid yeah whatever yeah. but i always wanted like hey imagine Imagine me, or uh, we would joke around. Hey, like, imagine we named it Strain. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, we—that's my job now. Every fucking day is oh, to name yeah. a fucking Strain, and it's—it's it's fucking dope. And You're like, God, I gotta think of a name. Fuck. Jesus Christ, another so name. So many names. So many God names. God damn it. Fucking hey, man. I well, I, Frank, help us out here. What? What? You got any questions for David here? Oh yeah, absolutely. What um. So you started smoking weed when you were uh, eight. Do you remember uh, getting in trouble for anything like when you were smoking weed, like by an authority figure? Um, or like I never got caught up. I never got. I never. Got oh caught damn! Up Hell yeah! Not smoke. I never got caught smoking weed. Never. Oh shit! And like, yeah, it was just normal. All my friends I grew up with, they were smoking weed in junior high, 
And you were a just, badass it was, it was kid. A bad, I was a badass kid. I was. You were, dude. I was. I used to play Yu Gi Oh. Yeah, junior. it's because yeah. I. It's because I knew what's up. You know, like you, he I, did I know. Up, I grew up. I knew what's up. What's up. So I knew. You, <laughs> so you go like to junior high and you see these kids like, man, you don't know what's up. Like, yeah, like, like you really knew what was. I knew what's up. Yeah, yeah. You want like? Oh, you know what's up? You don't know what's up. You want to go to my house after school? Like, you know what I mean? I was. I was like, dude, that type of shit. That was funny. You know? Oh my god! And it's funny because even like my brother's friend to this day that. Like back when I was like, a, my, like my brother, introduced, like I remember when I first seen Chronic, because there was no Chronic around. You, it was like no one had Chronic. Everyone had like stress. Yeah, stress. Well, back, well, yeah, during yeah when I was a little kid. And, um, How old are you? I'm 32. 32. You're two years older than me. You're one year younger than me. Fucking shit. So, um, yeah. So back then, that Chronic, like no one really had it because no one wanted to pay for it. Yeah. Because it was like twenty dollars or thirty dollars a gram, and yeah. you just get a little gram. Like this. Versus p- paying twenty dollars and you get like four little, hooked yeah. up stress you sacks. They don't even sack. weigh yeah. them. They just <laughs> they just do this. Just fill them up. Yeah. And um, what year was this when you seen Chronic for the first was, time? I was. How old in, are you? I was in uh, the first time I seen Chronic. I was in eighth grade. I was in eighth grade. Eighth grade. Shit. Yeah, I remember some. I remember some guy. He was like. Uh, uh, just some random dude. He was like, "Hey, you guys want to buy this big nug of chronic for twenty bucks?" And I was like, "Twenty bucks? I don't, I don't want. I don't want this money." He's like, "Oh, I keep smoking stress, you know." And I didn't understand. I didn't, <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't know what that meant. I was like, "What the fuck does that mean?" It's like, what does that mean? You know, I'm a little ass kid. Like, keep you know, smoking stress because my brother stress. didn't really like. My brother never let me smoke with him. Yeah, he. I never smoked with him, so it was just like like little snatch, little nug or something. And my, you know, like That's smoke funny. with my friends later, but he would never like. He never let me smoke, and even I remember when he did, he still wouldn't smoke with me. I remember I was like in a freshman when he, like, he showed me Kush. I remember when I first seen Kush. I remember that. Yeah. That straight skunk Kush. I was tripping out. And I remember when I first seen medical weed when I was like. That's what they called it. Medical. It was medical. Medical. Hey. medical. My my medical. tío, my tío, be medical. like, te, te agarré de la, de la CVS. I'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Back then, it's like if you like if you got if you went to the shop, it was medical. Yeah, like, you know, like CVS is a pharmacy, Theo. Yeah. It's not medical, bro. Te agarré de la de la CVS. I'll be like, what are you talking about? Yeah, ahí te lo puso en tu cuarto. He was like, <laughs> I crazy. The first time I ever seen stuff in capsules. My brother showed me it was like snow cap. Yeah, and like random strains. Like Fuck they yeah. were in, they were in like the CVS, like the little orange. Uh, Sometimes I want to go into one of these like not like MJ. But like one of the hood ones, just to like, just to feel like, just to soak it up, you know. To feel like it's 2012 again. Yeah, yeah. so I I do it sometimes. Oh, Dan, I'll have Dan. I'll be like, pull over right here. It'll be on Long Beach Boulevard and fucking uh, the most dangerous one you could find. They they, they still got chopsticks and this one right here. Yeah, this one right here. There's a corner van over there. We need to go. Some and I'll be right there, like dumb hot tattooed blonde. (laughs) No, I don't know. No, touching your weed. It's no. It's (laughs) usually the opposite. It's usually. Uh, foos in there, you know. I'm I'm in oh, the yeah, hood. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm sure. on Compton Boulevard, you know, going through these shock, uh, uh, shock factor experiences. I you know re- what I mean, dude? I remember going to uh, like a uh, underground dispensary when it was like in the valley, San Fernando Valley, when they were like still like doing like you were still like going in and signing into the fake doctor's office and shit. Yeah, but I remember I walked in. One of the guy it was clear like he just rented out the building, and you know he was gonna get shut down. But you were just buying weed, and I watched him like turn around and ring me up. And I'm watching him ring me up, and I look down, and he's just got a Desert Eagle, fucking gun, just on the counter, and I'm just staring at it as he rings me up. And then he turns around, and he's like, "Here you go." And I was you like, seem like a nice guy. You're like, not gonna do it. Yeah, I was just like, "You just got your gun out, dog." What's the any crazy experiences like dealing with uh, shops or? anything in the weed that you could divulge or was it just the whole chill dab life the whole fucking time because that's fine too it, yeah pretty much because always because masonic like a, story is pretty chill uh, nothing too crazy yeah. ever happened how much mm-hmm. coke have you done at bizcon no. <laughs> <laughs> coming next week hey, um nothing crazy with it just um played it safe played it safe well, that's I smart like, kind of me going and doing like the whole dab life thing like just like took me from like another route from like my other friends and you know, like it's it's pretty it's that's crazy. That's bro. good to hear, man. It, yeah, not, not that's sometimes you know people want it to be like a lot of blood on the street spilled. I I I don't assume that for me. Every time I chilled with you, chill motherfucker. We we sat at the ego clash with arcade and fucking Humboldt's picky farmer, and mm-hmm. we took thirty two dabs and 
that's like one of our first times oh, that first we time I met you, like yeah. we we kicked it and Professor Sift was like you're a white boy I'll never forget that and I'll I'm never, and 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 then the whole you, fucking yeah. party went uh, 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 you know when the record I mean, skips I mean, what happened Look, I'll never forget that I remember I was like just chilling chilling <laughs> and Professor Sift was like oh like your beard I never seen that in a white man you're like what fool I'm Mexican I'm from Compton I looked at you and I was like all right and I was like. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Sip is a nice guy, but I had to mm-hmm. check him that night yeah, for sure. I, I'll never forget that. That's so I'll never fucking forget funny. That. And That's you were so standing funny. right across from me. I was like, all right. And that's yeah. I introduced myself. We <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's cool because I didn't know that. That's cool that we caught that on film. What, I didn't know that was. What, a, did, uh, what did he do after he said that? I know, just kind of like, oh, like oh, Compton, shit. I gotta yeah, get like out of here. <laughs> you know, let me go. I'm just playing now. Nah, he's a nice guy, oh, but he, he. But yeah, I'll never forget that, bro. It was the first time I ever met you. Yeah, and Sift is uh, Sift is what like half black, half Spain or something like yeah, that. Like, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Spain, yeah, 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 man. Have you? Well, also like, where? What are? What are you? If I may ask. Um. Yeah. Full um, Mexican. Uh, Chicano. Yeah. yeah oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Have you done the? Have you spit in the tube yet and gotten your? Oh, to go in the whole your test. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. Oh, what are you? Give us the deets. Well, just pretty much. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, it's pretty much all like uh, Me- Mexico. What was your one percent? Ah, let me see. Let me pull it up. Yeah, it? bring oh, it yeah, up, bring it up, bring it up. Do you have mine, baby? But I remember stripping. Now it's right before I went to Spain. Right, right? and you're like, what right the fuck? Yeah. It's like, it like, like we're probably the, the same. Shit. We we got crazy. the red thing going on. Yo, I found out. Yeah, I, 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 I found out. Uh, yeah, I found out some shit about me. I was like, where? Yeah, I was tripping. I found a lot of stuff about. I'm Japanese. No, there is some though. There is some for sure. I like uh, the ones where they're like, yeah, yeah, we're for sure Japanese. Look at your eyes, man. And they just tell themselves, you know, three generations of their family telling each other that. And then they do it. And then there's nothing in there for them. Hopefully that happens. Oh, shit. All right. My, my DNA my, story. My, is yeah, my shit's, like, my we're shit's down. not. Yeah. We're down. Yeah, is it not showing up on yeah, you? Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I'm so up. funny. What time are we at? Just so we know. Oh, we got like we're we're, we're about to hit an hour in a, in a couple minutes. Perfect. So it's like forty nine percent indigenous America's uh, Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. Forty nine percent indigenous mm-hmm. America's Mexico. Yeah, because my mom's side they come from Texas, so it pops up like um, northern Texas and stuff like that. And my dad's family's from um, Jalisco, so it pops up western Jalisco. Um, Spain, 20 pre- 23% um, Spaniard. Ooh, I'm going to tell Lorenzo. Um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Portugal, 10%. Damn, it's always 1%. Yeah, know. that's good. I want to hear them all, though. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, Basque, it says 8%. Oh, mean Basque. you're a Basque. So yeah. that's a rare one, G. You know that's rare. No. There's not too many Basque people well, out I just there. learned about the Basque people. Yeah, me and uh, you. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Those, those weird ass motherfuckers. No, I'm just kidding. They're like uh, weird motherfuckers. So like. I got 50%, 50.2% Indigenous American. Yeah. Uh, 39.4% European. And so someone got raped. <laughs> uh, 47 Sub Saharan African. Uh, one point seven Western Asian and North African. What? What? Yeah, I have yeah. that too. One percent. I have one percent. Uh, yeah. What's mm-hmm. up, Doc? Congo. One percent. <laughs> you I know all the barbecues, <laughs> baby. I lie. I'm a Jamaican. I lie. One <laughs> percent. Malta. One percent. Germ- Germanic. I've got to yam in my microwave. You get a little bit everywhere, huh? Yeah, look, yeah, look. Our families be fucking. <laughs> my family's been out there. I guess. Look, I'm thirty nine percent Spain. That's my dominant. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can you tell? 37 indigenous Americas, 7% Basque, 5% Ireland. That's dope, that's right? That, 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 means I, that means I can knuckle up. Yeah, we got it too. Northern African, 4%. <laughs> Northern Italy, 2%. Oh, so it's a spicy me. meatball. <laughs> oh, shit. Maybe Sif was right. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking. I'm just <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, 1% Senegal, 1% Whoa, Mali. Was Senegal? I don't know what that is. One percent Cameroon, shit. Congo. One percent Levant. A little spicy. One percent Cyprus <laughs> and one percent Jewish. I guess I do have the. They, oh, they have, I got yeah. the Jewish in me, me now. One percent. Yeah, we all a little bit Jewish. I got. But my Jewish percent. homie says that doesn't count. Of course percent. not. They always do. They won't let us in the you goddamn the tribe. Two, two. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, my lawyers are Jewish and my accountants are Jewish. I'm good to go. Uh, anything you uh, what, what, let's plug? let's wrap it up. Um, what, what, uh, any future events? Where they where can they see you next uh, this Sunday? But I don't think it's gonna air on time. He's coming to the store, but 
Oh yeah, I'll be he's here any given yeah, Sunday. We'll but be, we'll be but what for sure is coming up in the future? For sure, Eagle Clash. Eagle, Eagle Clash. Clash. When is Eagle Clash? Eagle Clash in December. December what? And I don't know what exactly. Like, I can't pop up on my. my yeah, mind, I, I'm going to. By Eagle the way, Clash, so Eagle Clash for sure. Um, You're entering. Yes, I'm entering. You cannot discuss. I what cannot you're discuss those things. I'm just kidding. He can't. He cannot. Yeah. He we won't be so able to go if this. I'm not, um, yeah. you know, Brandon might call me time out. Brandon me. will call you after this podcast. He's like, you know, David. He's like, hey, dog, you can't fucking you disqualified. We're gonna sit you in this bitch chair. And shout out to Brandon. That's my boy, right? There. Shout out, big dog, big Brandon. Dog. You shout know, out big dog. You know, I went to his spot for like four fucking days and hung out with him, and we had we slept over. We got in our pajamas, the sleeping bags, the whole night. That's crazy. Yeah, Brandon's like, I remember the first time I met him, bro. He was like, since the first day I met him, he's always been a Cool, always cool. cool Brandon stuff. is a one with me, same. And and with me in real life, like in person, with me, and 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 that's what matters to me. I, you know, um, My same man. Yeah. Like miss me with all the other bullshit. Yeah. Like, and and you know, m- I know me too. I'm a polarizing guy, and and when Frank met me, people were like, "Hey, Mace is you know this, Mace is that." People do that shit and it fucking irks me. And that me, shit bro. made me laugh my ass off. Yeah, that shit that. irks me. And and, mm. and some people try to do that with me. And I'm just saying, like, do that with me. Sorry, sorry, Brandon calls motherfuckers out sometimes and yeah, shit. You know what G. I mean? So did anyone uh, do that with me? With no, like, this comic. This not comic is me. not. No, no, no one, no one did that. My wife was like, he snores when he sleeps, and then you're just like, what? <laughs> 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 but yeah, man, thank you so much for coming. I love that we captured some great of, meeting you. some oh, of no. your essence on oh, here. Shit. And no, thank you for having me. Thank on you here. for uh, supporting the brand. I see you rocking the Sour Diesel Wilson still. I see you doing the Cushman's Wilson. If you guys haven't grown any Cushman's Wilson, it's available on MasonicSeeds.co. Go grab you a pack. Sour Diesel Wilson, uh, Keeper Cut, probably dropping sooner than later. Go support MasonicSeeds.co. Go support the Patreon. Link in bio. Check out the Support the Patreon, yes. $3 to support the Patreon. $9 for even more exclusive footage. $150 gets you merch, gear, true patron shit. You're down for the cause. We love you. We shout you out. You can message us. Fucking, you want my phone number? You can't have it, but you can send <laughs> messages at Patreon. Are we baby. going? Did we ever decide if we're going to go check out Jimmy Devine's thing? No, I don't think I can do that one. Oh, okay. When is it? When November is Jimmy Devine? I think I'll double check. I'll I'll double check. Uh, I'll yeah. do, but I'm gonna try to. Night just trip, dog. Come on. There's I'll drive. so much. I, I would love to drive. I like driving. I don't mind driving. But yeah, thank you so much, Not Dave, for bro, coming by. Where, where can sure they excited. find you at? Um, right now, nowhere. I'm on nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> what about so, uh, Instagram right now? Instagram, right? Instagram, they can find me on uh, Dab, uh Dab Life Solving. Yeah, it, at Dab Life. Where do they find your uh, your dab life? That's where they you got everything linked right there. Yeah, everything's pretty much linked right there. I love but, it. Um, yeah, we're making some drops in the future. But yeah, man. Catch us soon. Pay attention. <laughs> Peace. Stay tuned. Ooh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Damn. Yeah, you see, that wasn't yeah. like a regular podcast, uh-huh. huh? We yeah. were we were just it was talking. So that, that, that first fifteen minutes, bro, I was so like, <coughs> you were so I was high. fucking big too, bro. Yeah, you were. So you're oh, so I think I almost passed out at one point, and then 25, 30 minutes, I woke up. Yeah, it was just so hot. That was the worst thing. Thank <laughs> you so much, David. David's nervous. You seen David? David be nervous on camera. Yeah, it'd be high in there. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, 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 I'm not going to